former NFL offensive lineman Damian Woody on the situation for Browns fans. This is from ESPN's Unsportsmanlike. The, the great thing about sports is that whenever, you're, like, whenever your season starts, every fan has hope. It's the one, I think it's the one word that, that, that you attach to sports is hope. Mm -hmm. And if you're the Cleveland Browns fan right now, there is no hope for you. Nowhere in the near future. You are tied to Deshaun Watson for what? The, like the next three years? Mm -hmm. Think about that. For the next three years, you are literally hamstrung by one, one albatross contract. Where is the hope? Because Cleveland has some of the best fans in, in the world. My father-in-law is a Cleveland Browns fan. To his core, loves the Browns. And I hear it in his voice all the time, mm. just how disgusted he is about the quarterback situation and just the state of the franchise. And so it's, it honestly is it's sickening to watch what it, what's going on with Cleveland and how do they even move forward. I'm, I, I literally start thinking, you need to strip this thing down to like an expansion team. Yep. And then just uh, just get get as many draft picks as possible. With that, let's welcome in Scott Petrick, Browns beat reporter for the Leary Chronicle Telegram, as well as Brownzone.com. Well, how, how's that for a cheery, cheery uh, Monday? I, I I get what he's saying. I disagree about stripping it down um, to expansion levels. I, what are your thoughts on on just all of that? Yeah, the hope thing is interesting. Um, there's not a lot of that right now when there was, you know, four, five, six weeks ago. Um, you know, I'm in a group chat with a bunch of Browns fans that they've been talking about trading the best players for weeks now. So it's not it's not the first time it's uh, crossed my radar. Um, yeah, I, I'm not ready for that. Um, I don't think the Browns need to do that. I think there's a way to probably walk a tightrope. Uh, and this is all assuming that, you know, they give up on Watson and they determine he's not the guy and then they cut him or try to trade him or whatever that move is that they have to figure out what to do with all the salary cap hits that they're going to have to take with him. Um, certainly feels like it's heading in that direction that they're going to be done with him and have to consider it a sunk cost at some point. Obviously, they're not ready to say that because Kevin's fancy keeps saying that he's going to be the starting quarterback. So... They're holding out hope to some degree, and that makes sense to me. They're so invested. Why not let it play out a little bit longer? I, that completely makes sense to me. Uh, but the idea of it's going to take a while for this team to be back to a playoff contender, um, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not ready to go there. But I get it that if you're so um, hamstrung by Deshaun Watson's salary cap number. There might be drastic things this organization has to do. Uh, my guess is they're hoping it doesn't come to that, that they have enough good players that they can figure, figure it out until they come out on the other side.